So we've already looked at converting from decimal form to scientific notation. Now we're looking at converting back from scientific notation to decimal form. And it's really just a matter of moving the decimal place the direction and number of the exponent on 10. So 1.3 times 10 cubed, 10 to the third power. That means we move our decimal place three places to the right. One, two, three. And then we just add zeros wherever there's an empty space. So this would be 1,300. And that's putting zeros in the two empty spaces. With part B, we have both a negative number and a negative exponent. So the negative number, it just goes out to the front. But the negative exponent, that means that instead of moving the decimal to the right, we move the decimal to the left. So we've got negative 1.2. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave the, the negative way off to the side because I know that we're going to have to move the decimal to the left. So I'm going to put the negative out here as a reminder. And then I'm going to put the 1.2 here. And we want to move the decimal place four places to the left because it's negative four. So one, two, three, four. And every place that there is an empty space we're going to put a zero. So zero, 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 and then there's a point there. So negative, we want one zero to the left of the decimal place. And then we have three zeros, zero, 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 one, two. So again, when we have a positive exponent on 10, we move the decimal place to the right. When we have a negative exponent, we move it to the left.